Hello YouTube audience, what is going on? Today, right after the group stage ended, Valve released the uh, Trove Carafe for TI7. So, uh, it's actually pretty late in the game to be releasing new treasures. Um, unfortunately, because of this, my um, prize pool prediction is going to be off. But anyways, uh, we got it, and TI attendees are going to be able to get their uh, genuine versions of these. I think, maybe not, because the secret shop's still a little eh right now uh, but anyway it's only a few days before the event so time is uh, really a crunch for Valve anyways uh, you might notice a little bit of uh, framiness with the Dota videos uh, in the past that should be fixed soon um, I've got all the parts for a new PC uh, shipping in and uh, that new PC is gonna be a lot more powerful than the one I have now so do not worry the quality of the videos will only increase anyway let's get right to it uh, the Trove Craft 2017 Let's take a look at the sets. Um, first we have Anti-Mage's Origins of Faith, uh, shoulder piece. That gives him a very cool, almost Abaddon-esque uh, cape. Nice uh, outline on the edge here. And a really cool looking jewel in the center as well. Um, and I do believe these have ambient custom effects. And it changes the blink icon. So. Um, Let's actually demo these. This will be a little bit of a longer video because I'm going to do the demos, um, but I think it'll be a, a better video. All right. So uh, when it comes to the TI7 group stage, I was actually pretty impressed with a few of the games there. Um, I did not expect TNC to do as well as it did uh, day two and three, I believe. I think Tim's was actually one of the highest average fantasy points uh, player for those days. So I was pretty impressed. The magic uh, ends some other notable here. other things were... Let's go to free spells, level to max. So let's see what this point looks ah, like. Oxygen rich atmosphere. All right, Giant so testicle adds, monsters. Uh, a particle effect. We'll be fine. Oh, let's party! Oh, uh, okay. That's actually very strange. So when you blink it... It drops a tree with a with a blade in it, with an axe in it. That's very strange. Okay. That's actually kind of that's kind I of go. silly, but I, I like it. Um, so it also leaves particle effects behind, kind of almost like a uh, Slark's Dark Pact. So yeah, pretty cool cosmetic. So uh, let's go to the next set: Beastmaster's Primal Peon which is a shoulder piece for him that looks like it's made out of some crazy magical antlers. So let's take a look. There is no natural disaster. And it makes it so a ghostly, uh, what are those called? Deer. Uh, charges forward when you shout, and it adds a, a little bit of particle effectage to it too. Let's spawn a target dummy and shout it. So yeah, this kind of uh, it's actually really large uh, auto, but it kind of reminds me this of the um, illumination now. So yeah, pretty cool. It's kind of a little bit misleading because the um, actual stun is in like an a circular area. On the it's track. not gonna be like a whole like visual distance. But uh yeah, pretty cool cosmetic. To battle. So let's go to the next uh, option. The Shadow Demon Mantle of the Grim Facade. So this is a headpiece for Shadow Demon that dismantles his face. An unnatural death. Right. Max Let's take a look at this cosmetic because I think it looks pretty cool. Can't actually see it that well because my uh, graphic settings are on. It changes the shadow poison uh, effect, which is actually one of the most common abilities that it uses, and it turns it into sort of a claw, um, uh, three pronged claw trail. And does it change the pop effect? Oh, it does. Okay. I go where I will. Or does it? Oh, okay, it doesn't look like it changes the um, Shadow Poison release effect, but it does add the claws. Now, this 
people have been talking about the cosmetics being pay to lose because it's actually easier to see where the edges of it are and this might be an example for that uh, the shadow poison by itself uh, has a large hitbox but the graphic kind of makes it hard to tell where that hitbox is so this kind of adds uh defined edges to it so there's that all right uh next up we have the oracle's alluvian prophecy i'm not sure if this is true but i believe this might be one of the first if not the first oracle cosmetic but i'm not entirely sure at all this changes his q ability the fortune's end <clears throat> and it changes the projectile to be blue and the splash effect to be blue it makes the um root effect a lot more visible and there's also the uh the charge up uh what's it called is different you see the little swirl at the top and it actually uh completely removes the red um kind of symbol that consider the possibility I think this is pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, it does sort of resemble Kunkka's uh, Once again. torrent. Uh, one of his cosmetics makes his torrent look like a spiral, so there might be some confusion um, because they look so very similar. Next up, we have the Jakiro Pyrexic Flow. It is a helmet piece for the ice head of Jakiro. So uh, let's check it out. I Sky believe it changes ice path and uh, fire to guess. So yep, it changes ice path and it makes it look pretty, pretty cool. So it act, act, kind of adds directionality to the ice path. It doesn't just look like uh, so ice is popping out of the ground. It looks like it's actually being kind of thrown out. You can see the kind of direction. Of the we kind of will of the direction and and you can see it's very different. Um, still maintains that distinct look of the ice path, um, probably because the shape is so right. Yeah. So yeah, pretty cool cosmetic in my head, in my mind, and um, they all they leave space for the uh, other Jakiro heads, ice and fire. Fire, which is pretty cool too. So next, we have the Troll Warlord's Better Lineage axes, um, and I believe they would Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So the edges actually glow and the centers glow the color um, based on the uh, Mojirin. So ranged is blue and melee is red. Uh, the axe fit is not changed at all. That is the axe to glow, I believe. So I don't think it changes anything except for the icon for the toggle. Oh, but it definitely changes the bash and Yep. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. That's pre that's pretty crazy, but it almost looks like you have a like desolated prop on it, so that's kind of weird. But yeah, pretty explosive animation, and it looks really cool. Uh, I wonder if there's anything for Rose, because this doesn't have an inherent bash. No, okay, so basically it adds a bash effect. Next up, we have Phantom Lancer's Concord Dominion, a very popular hero, by the way, playing in TI. Um, he's got a new cape and shoulder piece. That looks pretty cool, so let's check it out. We right, rush. So this alters the Phantom Rush ability and it makes it look like. We march! Chase this! Okay, yeah, so normally. We uh, will! So when you do the Phantom Rush, it adds kind of a uh, trailing particle. Into battle! So let's actually Multiply. try to make a ton of illusions real quick. We so have now that Phantom Rush. Oh, okay. So the trails yeah. have all the illusions as well. So it doesn't give away which one's the real one. So, so yeah, pretty cool, but it seems pretty particle intensive. Next to pick this void, we have the Bracer of Aeons. Now he's got I am the elder one. crazy head, he's got a crazy mace of Aeons, he's got everything else. For C is for animation, animation to look like this. It changes it into Dark a portents which has been the theme of the uh, Aeons uh, collection. Uh, the other ones, I believe, changed Chronosphere and Time Walk. My path on spoons. Oh yeah, it's the shoulder pieces of the Aeons that do the Time Walk. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it shall be. 
It also changes the effect of some of enemies that are deep Face forward. The time dilation. So if you see, not only is the shape of the cast thing a hexagon, but if you pay attention to the courier, you can see he's got a little effect going on around him. Like this. A path for C. Next up, we have the rare. We have another uh, invoker immortal, the Magus Accord. Let's check that out. It looks like they are hand replacements or gauntlets. Either one works. Um, we all know a life to the fates. Oh, oh, come on. The middle tower's under attack. Ambient custom. Oh, custom. what a mess. Okay, so I'm guessing it has to do with Exor. Such oh, oh, okay, middle tower's under attack. Exhort Trionis. Oh, no, that's covered by... Sunstrike is changed by Dark Artistry, I think. Or, no, 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 it's... Changed by the Magus Apex. Ooh, your metal tower's under attack. Two, invoke. Sorry about exhort, my, uh, quas, exhort. Invoker binds. They're kind of silly. Locked from I mean, the uh, arcade. Your middle the tower's under true. attack. Oh. the same. Stupefactive trio. Blast is the same. Enlightenment stands ready. You might be... Wait, what did I this just make? Bores me. Oh, Alacrity is different. That's Alacrity. what it is. Alacrity. All right. So it's actually not fire. Well, it's not entirely fire based. It's more uh, Wex based. I always call it Exor Fire, whatever. Nigh so it takes Alacrity to have a different symbol, still similar to the original above the head. Uh, a little bit different. It doesn't look purple anymore. It is red uh, or orangey. But yeah, it basically change, changes the uh, Alacrity effect. And you can probably see on this guy, um, he gets uh, particle effects around his hands. You can't really see it on Invoker since the particle effects are so similar to the cosmetics one. But yeah, it changes alacrity and nothing else. But still good for the hand slot, which was previously uh, not occupied by anything important for Invoker. Next up, we have the Golden Trove Carafe uh, 2017. And it includes golden versions of the uh, golden mantle of the Grim Facade, the golden staff of Gun Yu, the Golden Full Bore Bonanza, and the Golden Origins of Faith. And I assume they also changed the particle effects. Let's just do a quick test it on was Shadow time. Demon. It is the demon. Oh, I thought that was going to be for a second. Cool. So yes, it cha changes the claws golden, but it actually makes the fog look a little bit greenish. So that's a little bit weird. I still like it though, but it definitely kind of changes up the color palette of Shadow Demon a little bit. Looks a little bit weird, but still pretty cool. Yeah, and he... Um, I think the rest should be... Yeah, let's check them out while we're here. Looks like I've got some new stories to tell. Boom. Basically, it's just over. To yellow and On to run. run. Alright. Next up. We have snipers, full book bonanza. This is I the call the shot around machine. here. Let's... Okay, I don't know what color they are by default, but they look completely normal to me. I mean, maybe the tickets are a different color, but I don't really see a difference here. Anyways, probably because I haven't really played with this um, immortal on sniper before. Okay, and the last is the Golden Origins uh, for Anti-Mage. Now, I don't know if this is similar to the other Golden Trill uh, that was available in, I think, Treasure 2. Um, it might be that the tre None the shall hinder left me. to right and are not truly random. Uh, well, quote-unquote, truly random. The true but, path. Um, it might be that you just get the items in order. Um, so for the golden blink, Out of uh, my it way. changes the particle effects of the blink, but it does not change the log or the axe, and it changes Aye. the cape to a yellow color, obviously. So yeah, that's everything in the new golden trove carab. You can buy these. Um, oh wait, no, 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 that's yeah, yeah. They're, these are the ones in the golden trove carab. We have to go back to the normal trove carab, and for the extremely rare. Um, we actually have a TI-7 Mystery Courier, so we don't know what that is yet, but we will find out soon when we get one. So yeah, um, also worth noting, you can get these troves uh, autographed, so if you have a favorite personality that you want to support, for example, um, 
Day9 just got into Dota uh, recently and is actually a personality at uh, TI already, so good for him. And I want to support him. I can uh, select Sean Day9 Plot as my uh, autograph. That'll add a little bit of cost to the carafe. I believe it's $1 uh, or 2 I don't remember. I can't do my math right now. But anyways, uh, yes, yeah, $1. You can support your, uh, your favorite casters that way. Anyway, let's get to opening that mystery courier and solving the mystery. <sighs> Alright, so first case, we still have the very rare uh, Golden Trump Craft open, and nope, it is gone now. We get the Shadow Fiend uh, cosmetic. Speeding along now, we still have the three rares available. Nope, uh, Mr. Courier gone, not gonna be in the second case. Uh, Invoker gone already, all three rares are gone, and we end up with a troll uh, pair of axes. Next case, next case, next case, next case. The Golden Trip Craft disappears very early in, so does Invoker. Only two. Oh, jeez, Middle and Tower's under attack! The, oh, man! Uh, courier is not in the last two. Alright, so immediately the mystery courier disappears, invoker has gone too, the treasure is gone, and no rare from that one. We're about halfway through, I believe 4 out of 8 completed, still no rares to be seen. And we get uh, this one. Next up, we see a golden... Oof. I don't know why I said we see a golden when the golden one I think had already disappeared at that point, but I was really looking forward to a mystery courier, but not this time. So I don't know if it's going to be just a special edition courier, like um, let's say the uh, Silt Breaker um, Sand Roshan, or if it's going to actually be like an unusual courier that has like the um, unusual effects that the old Dota uh, super rare drops had. So unfortunately from these eight carafes we will not be receiving any rares um i will be going to ti so i might be grabbing up some genuine ones if the secret shop is functioning and i will be doing an unboxing of that if uh, all those conditions are met anyway that'll be it for this video i will see you guys in the next one uh if you want go into the comment section talk about your favorite personality personally i really like day nine uh, sean day nine plot um even though he's not like super knowledgeable about the game he doesn't really have any um time in the scene i really like uh what he did with purge um they actually if you don't know about this already i definitely recommend looking at it he um sean day nine plot and uh purge uh do a show where they where my uh purge taught day nine how to play dota from scratch from step one basically and there's like, I think almost 30 videos about it now, and he goes through every single mechanic, um, talks to Day9, and Day9 is really great at asking the questions that um, you want answered, and um, Purge is really great at explaining everything that you need to know. So take a look at it. Even though I play a ton of Dota, and I thought I knew the game pretty well, I took a look at those videos, and there were a ton of mechanics that I didn't really fully understand, and getting them clarified and really knowing exactly what they were were fantastic. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.